Hey guys, in this video we are going to be making a crochet halter top. To do this I am using a Lion Brand yarn. I got the Pound of Love skein. This is a number 4 medium weight yarn. I did choose to use this brand instead of Red Heart like I usually use because even though it is a number 4 medium weight yarn, it is thinner than the Red Heart medium number 4 yarn. So this is the yarn that I am going to be using. You of course do not have to use this exact brand, but I would suggest using a thinner number 4 medium weight yarn or even a number 3 lightweight yarn. To make this top we are also going to be using a 5mm hook and a 5.5mm hook. To get started doing this, we are going to use our yarn and our 5.5 millimeter hook, and we are now going to make a chain that is comfortable around the bottom of our bust area, where the bottom of your halter top is going to sit around your mid area. So I am going to chain 100 stitches because that is what is comfortable for me. You will go on to work however many stitches it is for you to be comfortable, again, around the bottom of your bust area and it honestly does not matter the amount of stitches. It does not matter the count, whether it's odd or even, or anything like that. So again, just go on to make a chain, the amount of stitches that it takes for you to be comfortable where the bottom of your halter top is going to sit. As I said, I am using the 5.5 millimeter hook for this beginning chain and that is also because this yarn does not have very much leeway when stretching, like so. So if you are using a different brand of yarn and you would like to use the 5mm hook for this beginning chain because your yarn stretches well enough, then that is fine. You will just have to adjust for your liking. When you have worked the amount of stitches that it takes for you to be comfortable around the bottom of your bust area, which again for me is 100 stitches, you will then make sure that your chain is completely straight all the way until the first chain on your chain, and you will insert your hook and slip stitch into this very first chain to form a loop. If you guys need to see how to do that or anything else in this video, I will put links for those in the description below. And before we go on to the next row, we are now going to switch from the 5.5mm hook to the 5mm hook from here on out. So for this first row, we are going to start off with a chain of 2, which does not count as a stitch, and we will work a double crochet into this same stitch and we will go on to work one double crochet in each stitch all the way around this first row, making sure you have the same amount of double crochets as you had for your beginning chain. When you have made it all the way around that round, you will then slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet of the round. You will then want to go on to repeat this round for another 6 rounds, for a total of 7 rounds, and that will be the width of the back of your halter top. With this gauge that I am working now, working this for a total of 7 rounds makes the back of the halter top about 4 inches. So if you want yours to be wider or thinner than that, you will work this row more or less times. But to do that, again, you will start off with a chain of 2 which does not count as a stitch, double crochet into the same stitch and every single stitch all the way around, and then slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet when you get all the way around. Again, I'm going to work this until I have seven rounds. When you have repeated that row as many times as you would like to make the back of your halter top the width you would like, we will then go on to work the top of the front of the shirt. You are going to want the top to wrap around the back just a little bit, as shown here, which of course will be just over half of the amount of stitches that you have. 
You will also want the top of the front to be an even amount of stitches. That being said, for this next row, and for my count of 100, I am going to work 60 stitches because that is a little over half of the amount of stitches that I have and an even number. So for this row we are going to start with a chain of two which does not count as a stitch and we are going to bring the first two stitches together. So we're going to start a double crochet in this first stitch leaving the last loop on the hook then start a double crochet in the second stitch again leaving the last loop on the hook then yarn over and bring those two stitches together. So as I said for this first row on the top front of the shirt I am going to work 60 stitches so these two first stitches do count separately towards that. So this is the first and second and I am going to go on to double crochet in the next 56 stitches that way I can bring the last two stitches together which would be the 59th and 60th stitch for this row for me. You will want to go on to work however many stitches it is that you need until you have two stitches left to reach the amount that you are going to work. Okay, so I have now worked those 56 individual double crochets and I have the two together in the beginning so I am at 58 stitches and I am going to bring the next two stitches together in one double crochet together. So start a double crochet in the first stitch leaving the last loop on the hook. Start a double crochet in the second stitch leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over and bring them both together. For the next row we are going to turn our work around and we are going to do exactly the same thing. So we are going to start off with a chain 2 which does not count as a stitch and we are going to bring the first two stitches together in one double crochet together. So start a double crochet in both stitches leaving the last loop on the hook, yarn over and bring them together. Then we are going to go on to double crochet one time in each stitch all the way across this row again until we have two stitches left at the end. When you have double crocheted all the way across that row and you have two stitches left we will then again bring those two stitches together so we will start a double crochet in both of them leaving the last loop on the hook then yarn over and bring them together. You will then go on to repeat this row as many times as you need to to get the coverage you are needing before the pattern on the top. You will need to decrease down to 34 stitches across the top by the time you have the coverage that you need and you are ready to work the pattern on the top. This being said, if you need to bring more than just the two stitches together at the beginning and end of the rows, then do so. For instance, if I were to work this for myself, which this one does fit me, and if I were to only bring the two stitches on either end of each row together, then it would be more than 34 stitches across the top by the time I have the coverage that I need and I am ready to work the pattern. Therefore, to bring my work down far enough to be 34 stitches across the top by the time I want to work the pattern, then I am going to have to work more than one two double crochet together at the beginning and end of each row. So to reach the coverage that I need before working the pattern on the top, I worked six rows. As we all just did together, we only brought one two double crochet together at the beginning and end of the first two rows. And like I said, if I were to continue on doing this, then it would be longer than 34 stitches across the top by the time I reached the coverage that I personally need. So for the next row I worked two two double crochets together at the beginning and end of that row and after that I worked three two double crochets together at the beginning and end of each row. 
So for my six rows, I worked two rows with one two double crochet together at the beginning and end of the row, one row with two two double crochets together at the beginning and end of the row, and then three rows with three two double crochets together at the beginning and end of the row to get the coverage that I need and to have 34 stitches across the top. Working it this way gives me about three and a quarter inch more of coverage. If you need yours to be longer than that, you can, like I said, change the amount of two double crochets that you work at the beginning and end of each row and prolong that until you have the coverage that you need or make it shorter if it is too long and make it so that it is 34 stitches across the top. You of course can try this on as you go and make sure that it is fitting the way that you would like and providing the coverage that you need. When you have worked the top of your work down to 34 stitches, we will then go on to work the pattern across the top. So we are going to turn our work and start with a chain 2, which does not count as a stitch. Then we are going to double crochet one time into the same stitch. Then we will chain two, skip two stitches, and single crochet into the next stitch. We will then chain four, skip another two stitches, and single crochet into the next stitch. And we will repeat this all the way across again by chaining four, skipping two stitches, and single crocheting into the next stitch. And you will repeat this all the way across until you have three stitches left at the end. When you have worked that all the way across and you have three stitches left, we will then do the same thing as we did on the other side by chaining two, skipping two stitches, and double crocheting into the last stitch. For the next row, we are going to turn our work, then we are going to chain one and single crochet one time into the same stitch, then we are going to single crochet around this next chain two space, then chain three and single crochet around the next chain four space. And we will repeat this all the way across again by chaining three and single crocheting around the next chain four space. And you will do this all the way across until you have single crocheted around the last chain four space. When you have single crocheted around the last chain four space, we will then chain three and single crochet around the chain two space and then we will single crochet into the top of the last double crochet of this row. For the next row we are going to start by bringing these first two stitches together. So we are going to start by chaining one, then bring these two stitches together in one single crochet. So bring up a loop in the first stitch and leave it there. Bring up a loop in the second stitch and leave it there. Then yarn over and go through all of the loops on the hook for one, two single crochets together. Then we will single crochet around the next chain three space. Then chain three and single crochet around the next chain three space. And we will repeat this all the way across again by chaining three and single crocheting around the next chain three space and do this until you have single crocheted around the last chain three space. When you have single crocheted around the last chain three space, you will then bring the last two stitches together in one, two single crochets together. So you will bring up a loop in the first stitch and leave it there bring up a loop in the second stitch and leave it there, yarn over and bring all of those loops together. For the next row we will turn our work and start with a chain two, which does not count as a stitch. 
We will then bring the next two stitches together in one two double crochet together. So start a double crochet in both of those stitches and bring them together. We will then work two double crochets around the next chain three space. So work two double crochets around that space and work one double crochet into the next single crochet. And we will repeat this all the way across again by double crocheting two times around the next chain three space and working one double crochet in the next single crochet and again working this all the way across until you have two stitches left at the end. When you have worked that all the way across and you have two stitches left you will bring those two stitches together in one two double crochet together For the next row, we will again start with a chain 2, which does not count as a stitch, and we will bring the first two stitches together in one two double crochet together. Then we will go on to work one double crochet in each stitch all the way across until you have two stitches left, and you will bring those last two stitches together. When you have two stitches left at the end, you will then bring those two stitches together in one two double crochet together. The top of your work should be about 17 centimeters at this point. You do not need to work it down this far if you do not need to, and if you do not want to, you can just not decrease the few times that we did in the last two rows. We are now going to go on to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way across the top. So we are going to start with a chain one and single crochet into the same stitch. And again, single crochet one time into each stitch all the way across. When you have worked one single crochet all the way across the top, we will then go on to work a chain the length that you would like your strap to be. I am going to work a chain of 60, which will give me a strap of about 15 inches. And to figure this out, I just worked a chain that was really long, then put this on and measured it up to where I wanted it to be, then undid my chain to where it matched up with the top of my shirt, took it off and counted the amount of stitches that I had on my chain, which again is 60. So I am going to go on to chain 60 stitches and you will want to chain however many it is that is the length that you want for your strap. When you have worked a chain the length that you would like your strap to be, you will then turn your work and make sure that the chain is completely straight all the way across and you will slip stitch into the very end stitch on the other end of your work. We are now going to go on to work a border down this side, across the back of our shirt, and around the other side of our strap. So to do that, we are going to start with a chain one, and then we are going to single crochet into the side of the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And then we are going to go on to work one single crochet for each stitch all the way across the edge of this work here until we get to the back of our shirt. So if it is a single crochet row, you will want to work one single crochet for that row. And if it is a double crochet row, you will want to work two single crochets into the side of the double crochets. When you have single crocheted all the way down that edge and you have come to the back of your work, you will then just single crochet into the very next available stitch and then work one single crochet all the way across the back until you come to the other edge here where you will do the same thing by working one single crochet into the side of each stitch all the way across. If it is a double crochet row, you will work two single crochets. If it is a single crochet row, you will work one single crochet and do that all the way until you come to the strap. 
when you have single crocheted all the way across the back and all the way up the second side, then you are now back at the strap. We are going to then work a single crochet into the first chain of the strap and work one single crochet into each stitch all the way across the chain that you have for your strap, making sure to have the same amount of single crochets as stitches that you had for the original chain. When you have single crocheted all the way across your strap and you are now back at the first single crochet that we made for the border, you will then slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet. If you would like to, you can go on to work more than one round around the border of this and across your strap. I personally am not going to, so I am going to finish my work off and weave in my ends. And that's all there is to it, so I hope that that was helpful and enjoyable for you. If it was, please hit that sub, like, and bell button and leave me a comment to tell me what you think. I hope that you guys go on to create many more amazing things, and until next time guys, I'll see ya.